I'm Tim Jordan. I played football at Indiana University from 1985 through 1988. I'm Allison Jordan. I'm from Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm a current student athlete at Indiana University and I'm on a freshman on the women's soccer team. I actually didn't know that my dad played football at IU or um, in the NFL for a really long time just because he's really modest and it took me growing up to ask him about it for me for him to tell me about it. Um, when I came to IU the year before I got here the team went 0-11 that was coach Mallory's first year and um, wearing the uniform you know over the years meant more and more to me because I could see our program grow. Um, so we went from 0-11 to the next year winning a few games and the year after that we actually made a bowl game and um, the year after that we beat Ohio State and Michigan in the same year which I think is the first time that had happened in a hundred years. Um, so it was great to to see that happen and it's, it's exciting for me to see some similar similarities between what Allison's going through right now and what I went through and uh, I can see um, good things on the horizon and hopefully I'm right because I'm excited about the future for IU soccer. At Indiana for me I didn't have to settle for anything. Um, my dad and I I think are really similar people so we found a lot of it. Um, interest and value in the top ranked and highly respected business school um, and also just the program at IU and the people that I met, the coaches that I met, the players all shared similar goals and values that I did so it made the decision really easy to come here. Well, when Allison started looking at schools um, my wife Laura and I um, stayed very neutral on it um, and honestly we were neutral because as we told her we wanted her to pick what was best for Allison, not what was best for us. Um, I do have to admit when she told me that she had decided on IU, I was very excited and very proud and looking forward to all the trips to Bloomington, which we've done a lot of. Um, so now that she's here and enjoys it, I can say I personally am really glad you chose <laughs> IU. Being a part of Indiana Athletics means that you're a part of something bigger than yourself and that's one of the things that I've uh, found the most comfort in um, while being at IU. The whole idea that although you're part of one sports team, you're part of uh, the 24 sports that creates the one team that IU is so proud of. Well, I, I have to say the first time I saw Allison in her IU jersey, which came out on the internet, I was very excited. Um, you know, it, uh, I won't say it brought a tear to my eye, but it probably did to my wife. <laughs> and. Um, uh, you know, it just made me very proud. I remember like the first time we ran out when we come from the locker room onto the field, a lot of the parents and fans will do this tunnel. Um, and I was running out, like high-fiving everyone, and everyone's cheering and everything. And I look up and my mom's in full tears. Uh, she went here too and is arguably the biggest IU sports fan out of yeah. all of us. And um, just knowing that I could make my mom cry just like that um, is not surprising but something that's really special and something that I don't know um, would have happened if my life hadn't gone in this direction. I, uh, I love coming back here because there's still some of the same people that were here um, when I was here. While it's progressed so much in some ways it really still is the same place as when I was here. Yeah and that's something that I love about IU is that my Indiana um, although it's however many years later, it's still, it's still the same thing as his and that's something that I don't think you can say um, for other schools, just the tradition here is absolutely amazing and something that I'm um, really happy I'm a part of. And I would like to add that if uh, somehow Coach Mallory um, ever sees a women's soccer video that uh, he gets a chance to see this so I can say thanks to him for everything he did for me when I was here. Hoosiers.